Hey mamas, it's Tori from Mommy Bar and I'm here today to show you how you can exercise when you're too exhausted and worn out to get to the gym and exercise. So I was feeling this way a lot in the beginning of pregnancy as well as more recently with a lot of the heat. Um, there are things you can do while you're laying in bed at night, sitting on the couch, um, watching some TV, reading a book, whatever you like to do. There have just been times where I am too exhausted and basically I can do nothing but lay on the couch and snuggle my little guy. So what I've been doing during those times is really working on, again, core and stabilizing hips and pelvis. So come on, I'll show you right now. All right, so you just need to lay down on the floor. You can do this on your couch, on the bed, wherever a little bit more of a, a firmer uh, floor or what you're laying on is a little better. But again, you can do this wherever. And this is great core and pelvic floor and outer thigh hip exercises that helps stabilize everything that you need to be strong and support you throughout pregnancy and beyond. All right, so I'm gonna lay down here. I like to just prop my head here. Um, and we're going to have our feet right in line with our hips. Our knees are going to be in front of us. And as we're doing any of these exercises, I don't want you to be laying here just letting your um, belly hang out, even though that's comfortable. Um, we want to stay supported. So you're going to practice those squeezes. Your exhale, squeezing, maintaining that core so you feel like you're um, engaged. And what we're going to do here is as well, you're going to do a pelvic floor contraction. Every time you exhale, and you're going to lift that knee up, keeping those heels together. Inhale as you bring it down. Exhale as it lifts up. Inhale down. Exhale, belly button in, kegel, knee up, and down. Lift up. And down. I like to do about three sets of ten of these. And you know what? It seems very simple. It gets harder as time goes on, as well as if you have a kid like sitting on you, or even just the weight of a blanket sometimes. And if you're really that exhausted, they can really work up and you really feel those muscles working. All right, I love other variations. I like to put the, my heels up to the ceiling. We're gonna go out and in here. I'm gonna do these a little faster for you. Again, keeping that engaged, pelvic floor engaged. Three more, two more, last one. And what I like to do is I like to press those heels together You'll really feel that pelvic floor engage and just do a nice little hold there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. All right, from there, you can straighten your legs out. Those clams are enough to do when you're just laying on the couch and you're too exhausted. If you can just sit there and try to remember how many you've done so you can flip to the other side. It's a great way. You're working that core and pelvic floor and getting it ready and maintaining it for the rest of your pregnancy and beyond. All right, again, you're going to um, straighten those legs out. I like to have them slightly in front of my hips so I'm not rocking back and forth and so I'm a little stabilized. I'm just going to lift that leg up and down. Again, every time you lift, you want that exhale. Pelvic floor contraction. Inhale and come down. And if you're not, if you can't keep that inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, if you're going faster, don't worry, just make sure you're breathing. We don't want to be holding our breath at all here. All right, another great one that we can do just laying down is Maintaining that core, pelvic floor, hips stacked on top of each other, as well as shoulders stacked on top of each other. 
just gonna take that leg forward and backwards slightly. Some people really have great stabilization here and they can get their leg way far forward and way far back. I've never been able to do that even when I was in my prime of dancing. Um, I've always had very small movement here to be able to maintain that hip on top of your other hip. And that's what's important because that's what's building that stabilization. All right, and from here we can do just teeny tiny little circles. Good, reverse that circle the other way. Below. 
as I like to say, I can either commiserate with you or I can <laughs> be jealous. And if you have any questions about any of these things, all right, we're going to push up and then you can get up or you can stay lying down however you are. All right, well, that was a quick little exercises that you can do when you're too exhausted to get up off of the couch. And um, I hope you are feeling better, more energized, and you're ready to join me at the bar next time. All right, make sure you subscribe to our channel, uh, like this video, and comment, and say hi, say how you're doing, because that helps other moms get access to this as well. All right, I'll see you next time at the Mommy Bar.